Hello everybody, welcome. Here is my garden, Garden, you may enter. I wanted to make a video out here on purpose because I wanted to show you a little something. But first, I, before I do, there's a quote that I heard and it said, there are two types of pain. Pain that hurts you and pain that changes you. Wow, you know, so many times we get so hurt and wounded in our lives. And how much longer, the question is, are we going to fester our wounds from all the numerous people that may have hurt us? We may be highly sensitive. I know I am highly sensitive and I can get easily offended by certain little things. I pick up on body language and facial expressions and different things like that. So numerous times I ended up getting hurt. How about you? And how do you handle that? Well, we are the essence of love. And in this video, I wanted to talk about God's love and his forgiveness only the pain that we come across we are challenged to either do something about it or woe is me and stay in our little victim mentality you know i love gardening these days and this is my little bougainvillea plant and every day i like to see it grow and it was growing as I shared before in John 15, Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. And as these branches were growing and flourishing, I was getting so excited to see these little flowers of bougainvilleas come out. They were growing outwardly and they were getting heavy, the branches. And even though we may be connected to God, some of us may be a believer, a follower of Christ, but we're not taking up action or doing anything to, in obedience of God's word and what he wants all of us to do as his children. And I noticed this one particular one, can you see? It got so heavy as it grew out, you can see the flowers. So I decided one day it needed some support and I found this branch, small, shorter branch, and it actually helped to lift it up and to support it. And you can see it raised up higher. Isn't that just beautiful? And God wants all of us, it says in Isaiah, to arise and shine for the glory of Lord has come upon us. The light of him is within us. So he wants all of us as his children to arise and shine. And with these plants, I noticed with the vines, it needs some trenches to help to support it to grow and flourish beautifully. So I like to share in this video, the trenches in our life as we are connected to the vine is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes to help us. He is our counselor. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. He will teach us, help us, lead and guide us. And as long as we yield to God's spirit and get rid of our stubborn heart and our stubborn ways, you would amaze yourself of how much wealth and peace of mind that you can benefit from taking the small steps of action. It says that the first and greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And the second is to love others like you love yourself. And it's so hard sometimes when you have been literally wounded numerously, maybe by the same person, you cannot get away from them. I know I have several people that comes within my proximity throughout the time and I just can't get my arms distance. So I was challenged to like really to uh, step it up, take a breath and just to Remember who and whose we are a child of God and to allow God's love to be poured within our hearts so therefore we can give and spread that love and forgiveness to others. And as we know as some people, we wonder why do we do the things we do, but we're just all human. We're always having different kinds of human experiences, whatever that may be, anger, sadness, happiness, joy, so many different situations. 
but the feelings come and go just like the ocean waves. Just allow the feelings to come and go, but remember your identity in Christ today. And remember that the Holy Spirit is our support. Without the Holy Spirit, we don't yield to it. We are just gonna be weighed down by the branches. We may be connected with God, we may be believers or maybe not, but I challenge you today, allow God's Spirit to truly speak within your heart.